Namaskar dear students. Today in the preclinical prosthos section, we will be discussing five very helpful tips if you are preparing for your preclinical prosthodontics practical exam. Okay, so I will tell you everything how to prepare and attempt the practical exam. So let's begin. We have notes, resources and all the study materials in hand. But still, exams bring a lot of stress and anxiety. You know, especially the practical exam. Well, I believe a little nervousness makes us more alert and prepared during an exam. To begin with, tip number one, neat you and your working table. First of all, wear a neat and clean apron. You know, as we will work with acrylic wax during the work, so take a towel napkin to cover your apron. So this will make it less messy. Second, clean Macintosh. Your Macintosh should be clean with no wax or plaster sticking over it. Taking a new one for your exam will be a wise decision. Third, new set of instruments should be purchased for exam to make your working table presentable. This all gives a good impression on the teacher when he or she comes for attendance signatures or signing your mounting. This also enhances your confidence. Tip number two, neat mounting and cast marking. In most of the universities, the students have to do ideal class 1 teeth arrangement in their preclinical prosthodontic exam. So for that, you need to have a pre-approved articulated rims in class 1 relation. The mounting should be neat, the articulators should be clean and with no plaster sticking over it. The mountings should be finished properly. And I repeat, better they are pre-approved because now there is no scope of modifications. Then comes the cast marking. The cast marking should be done. All the guidelines should be nicely marked. This not only enhances your presentation, but also saves the time during the teeth arrangement. I have attached the video how to do the cast marking in the description box. Tip number three, time management. You have to finish the teeth arrangement in a given time for getting the passing marks. And you need a finished, polished and perfect teeth arrangement for scoring high. Most commonly, the time given in most of the universities is around two and a half hours or two hours. Very important, divide the time before starting the exam to avoid the last minute rush. So if you have two and a half hours, that means 150 minutes, you can divide first 45 minutes interior teeth arrangement, 45 minutes one side posterior teeth arrangement, the other 45 minutes for the other side posterior teeth arrangement. Last 15 minutes for finishing. Now if this duration is two hours, you can just separate like 35, 35, 35 and last 15 minutes. Keep these last 15 minutes always in your hand. Tip number four, sequence of the teeth arrangement. Now this is a slightly modified sequence that I have framed from my teaching experience. It actually does wonders. We will start with the maxillary interior teeth placement. We will place both the central incisors. This will help us to maintain the interior plane and also mark the midline followed by both sides lateral incisors and then by the canines. Now we will place the mandibular interior teeth. We will place both the central incisors and we will maintain the overjet and the overbite, which will be followed throughout. This will be followed by the mandibular lateral incisor and followed by the canines. Now we are finished with the interior teeth arrangement. We will check the canine relation in respect to the canine line and also the class 1 canine relation. Okay, this will be followed by one side post maxillary posterior teeth arrangement. Remember one side. Okay, only one side we are placing starting from the premolar to the second molar. And then we will place the same side mandibular posteriors. We are keeping the occlusal rims intact on the other side. This will help us to maintain the occlusal plane and also check the glass lab relation. 
This will be followed by the other side maxillary and the mandibular posterior teeth arrangement. I'm sure this you will land up with a timely and perfect teeth arrangement with this sequence. Tip number five, teeth arrangement. This is the main exercise of the preclinical prostho exam. So we will follow rule of eight in this. The first rule is the midline. The first thing that the examiner notice is the midline. So the incisal edge of the maxillary central incisor should touch the tip of the incisal guide pin. Second, the vertical rod, the incisal rod. It should touch the incisal guide table. It should not get lifted when we end up with our arrangement. Third, overjet and the overbite. The overjet should be 2 mm and overbite should be 0.5 mm when we are doing the ideal teeth arrangement. Fourth, the necks. The neck of the lateral incisor should be depressed and canine should be prominent. Students often mistake to make the neck of first premolar prominent than the canines. So please check it. Fifth, the molar relation. After checking the midline and the incisal rod, the examiner will check the molar relation. The mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar should lie in the mesiobuccal groove of the lower first molar. This should be perfect. Okay, now sixth, the occlusal plane. Once you have placed all the teeth, you can check the occlusal plane by the thread that you tied during the mounting. Seventh, Teeth on the ridge in the lower arch. Okay, so please check the reference lines that you uh, draw during the cast marking. Eighth, the finish. The wax up should be finished, the teeth arrangement, there should be no bubbles. And for those extra marks, you can do a soft root carving for the maxillary interiors. That will suffice and make it perfect. So that's all for today. I'm pretty sure if you're following all these five tips, you are going to get the highest score. Okay, but do not forget to share and like the video. You can give your topics in the comment section. Best of luck for your exams.